Do you want a dock for your Steam Deck, but you don't want to spend the £80 for the one from Valve? Well, this Sabrent 6 port docking station might be just for you. It's just $30, and for that you get a pretty well built bit of kit. Let me show you around it, give it a try, and then show you some of the other options you might want to consider. The Sabrin Dock can be so cheap, both thanks to it being basically just a continuation of what Sabrin already produced, so they've got plenty of economies of scale, and because it's a bit more trimmed down in terms of the ports that you get. You get a total of three USB-A or USB 3.0 type A ports, two on the left and one on the right, one USB-C PD input, one USB 3.0 type C port, and one HDMI 2.0 port. No display port, no Ethernet, although with that USB-C port, you could attach another budget dongle for more I.O., like this tiny little Sabrent USB-C hub, a detachable one no less, which comes with two more USB-A ports, uh, SD and microSD card slots, and another HDMI port. The other reason for the price reduction for this is the lack of included USB-C PD power adapter. Valve's official dock comes with a second power brick, which isn't a bad idea as it means that the dock can stay in place and powered on rather than you having to take the power brick out whenever you go somewhere and then have to come back and plug it all back in again when you get home. Despite its cheaper price, the dock still comes with large rubber pads on the back and bottom of the, the deck holder slots for a soft and cushion landing for your deck. It's also got two fairly large rubber feet on the bottom so the whole thing doesn't fancy sliding around at all. The USB-C host cable is the perfect length, complete with a right angle port for a strain free attachment. With the Steam Deck's USB-C charger connected, a controller using one of the USB-A ports and a monitor via HDMI, the gaming experience is spot on. As you would expect, the deck handily charges while gaming, allowing it to offer as much gaming performance as the tiny little APU can muster. The upright position also helps the hot air escape out of the top, and you will be happy to know that the air intakes on the back are pretty much unobstructed. All of that means that you get a top-notch gaming experience, no matter what type of game you want to play. If you would rather hook up a mouse and keyboard, you can't. If you just want to place a, place the deck, you know, down on your TV stand, get power and video out of it for a more media center style use, well, that's fine too. It's also worth noting that if you're going to leave the deck in its sort of docked position and therefore charging for a, an extended period of time, it's a good idea to use software like Power Tools, which I showed how to install and make use of in a recent video. Check that out on the end cards or on the cards above. Uh, and that can help uh, both limit the, the charging currents and even change the charging mode, which can be helpful for extending the lifespan of the Steam Deck's battery. I must admit, despite its relatively low power compared to a desktop, I still very much enjoy gaming on the deck, even while docked. The fact that it's so easy to install emulators means that I can be playing a Steam game like Rubber Bandits with my wife and friends and family, and then immediately swap to playing Mario Kart Wii, all on my big screen. The Sabrent dock seems like the perfect tool for that. The lack of Ethernet or DisplayPort isn't a huge deal for me personally, although if you did want to use the deck as a bit more of an actual sort of desktop machine rather than a docked console Nintendo Switch style, then I can see the argument that the official dock is a bit of a better choice. Still, this one works perfectly well for what I want, and I think it's going to find its way onto my TV stand very soon. Of course, this Sabrent dock isn't your only choice. You could opt for a more standard USB-C hub like this one. I bought this a couple of years ago, and I've been using it on and off with my Steam Deck for a while. While well, this can't prop up the Steam Deck, which is quite a big feature to have missing, it does offer all the same I.O. In fact, actually slightly more. 
This one lets you still use a USB-C PD charger to charge the deck while using it, but it comes with four USB-A ports, up from three, also includes Ethernet, HDMI, and SD card and micro SD card readers. This is great if you want to game while holding onto the deck, but you still want to see what you're gaming on on a monitor, or just as a more generic option to have around. Got a laptop with a USB-C port that needs some extra USB-A ports to, to use? Well, you can use this. Want to dock your Steam Deck for a little bit for just for gaming? Well, this will do just fine too. You can even daisy chain them together if you really wanted for all the ports in the world. Just be careful when buying a more generic hub that it does support USB PD charging. The tiny Sabret one I have here doesn't even have another USB C port, let alone PD, char PD charging support. So that's a great IO expander, but it can't be used on the deck for all that long. There are of course plenty of other Steam Deck docking station clones on the market already. Some with more IO, some with even less. Although personally, I would be a little wary of no-name electronics, especially ones that are designed to interface with precious hardware like your Steam Deck. While I am sure there are plenty of other good options on the market, and if you have one, I would love to hear your thoughts on it in the comments below, I am confident that this Sabrent model is a good option, and naturally one that I'll be leaving an affiliate link to in the description if you're interested, if you want to pick one up yourself, or just check out pricing when and where you watch this. Of course, if you do end up going with another model, just make sure that the reviews are not only generally positive and, you know, give you some good information, but that they actually look like legitimate reviews and not paid or fake reviews. So be careful with that one. So that is a look at a pretty interesting and certainly budget Steam Deck dock. If you're interested, like I said, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below, along with the other uh, smaller Sabret one and uh, a more generic option as well, if you're interested. Other than that, uh, if you have a Steam Deck, I would love to hear your thoughts on it in the comments down below. How are you getting on with it? What are you gaming with it? And what other accessories do you have? And is there anything that I should be checking out with mine? Other than that, that is kind of it. If you want to see the rest of the Steam Deck videos, I'll leave a link to them on the end cards. If you want to check out more videos like this one and be notified of them when they come out, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon. And if you want to support me rambling at you for several minutes at a time, then check out YouTube, the YouTube join button, Patreon, pick up a hoodie or t-shirt like this one. Or if you fancy testing your own monitors, maybe pick up an open source response time tool as well. Otherwise, that's kind of it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next video.